Hi, it's Sharon Sheldon here from Business Content PLR and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a call to action or a call out on any video without any fancy or complicated video software or editing tools. It's called the YouTube Editor. So let me show you how it works. You upload your video as you normally do. I'm not going to show you that in this video. And then once you're in your dashboard you want to go to Video Manager and this is going to be in a slightly different place depending on where you are at the point where you've uploaded. But you do want to get to the Video Manager. It might look a little bit different from the way I'm showing you it now because YouTube tends to change things. So here I am in the Video Manager. I'm going to show you one that I already uploaded that was from a promo video from my How to Create Your Marketing Plan uh, Ready to Go course. So you click on Edit and then you can see the video here and the thing that you want to click on is annotations right up at the top click on annotations and you'll get this editing screen that's going to come up it started auto playing let me pause it so I'm going to scroll down a little bit so you can see there's this timeline and you can place an annotation or a caption anywhere on the timeline what I've done in this one is add it right at the end you can see I put in the URL and if you have a generic video like a PLR one or one that we've provided that doesn't have your call to action in it this is the easiest way to add it so in this case I clicked add an annotation and then I clicked on note and I just typed it in it comes up with a box here I'll show you this let me show you this at the uh, beginning of the video so you can see the same way it works. So to get rid of what I just entered, I'm going to click on the little trash can and I'm going to take my timeline and put it right up at the beginning so you can see this more easily. I'll just go a little, let's go right at the beginning where there's nothing there. And I click on add annotation, I click on note, it brings up this little box and I can just type in right in the note place, say um, business content PLR and then you can make this bigger there's a custom thing to adjust the size I could make it even bigger than that and there's little squares here you can just drag it drag the box to make it as big as you want you can adjust the color there's a little box here I'm gonna leave it white but you could change it to black pick what looks best leave it white you can also change the fill on that box so if it's on a light background and you want it to stand out more with the white lettering you could do that see now it has a dark background and then you want to adjust how long it's going to actually last so I'll put it at the beginning and look down here you'll see that there's a length it, as far as this box shows is how long it's going to last you can adjust this manually or you can adjust it over here where it says start and end you really don't need it to last a long time it'll it'll pop in there I don't know for a few seconds but you want to make it less and then test it out to see how it looks maybe I'll move it down to the bottom something like that and then click on play and you'll see whether it's interfering and then it'll disappear when it says it's done so do that you can do that at the beginning you can do that as I showed you right at the end to do your call to action here I'll go back a little bit you'll see how it pops up and there it goes right there so do that at the end of all your videos this example has my URL in the video itself but the ones you get the generic ones won't have it and you'll need to do this kind of thing to get that um, that call to action on there and there are play around with some of the other options as well because for instance this one let me go back to the beginning again you can um, edit an annotation as well so here you can pick the one like this one and I'm just going to delete that but say I wanted to add something different play around with some of these other ones speech bubbles will give you exactly that something that looks like a speech bubble you could add um, here this is nice a title so you could just put in the title of your video and have that come up at the beginning and however big or small you make it will adjust the size of the text which is nice too and then move it around and that could just come up as your title so play around a little bit and then when you're all done you'll just click on publish 
and you'll be set. Enjoy!